Welcome to Children's Ministry at the Fort Bend Church. I'm Miss Deirdre. prayer time. Let us pray. Dear God, please hear our prayer. We praise your holy name. We thank you, God, for your love. We thank you, God, for Jesus, who died on the cross for our sins. Dear God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the Bible and our church. We thank you for our pastor and our parents. We thank you for our teachers and our friends. We love you, God, our Father. Dear God, help us to obey you and make you smile. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's stand and sing, This Is The Day. You know, it's important to find a safe place to spend the night when we travel away from home. In today's Bible story, we will learn how Mary and Joseph had a hard time finding a safe place to stay. This was important because Mary was about to give birth to a very special baby, and I bet you know his name. We will learn about a ruler who wanted all the people living in his land to be counted and where the people needed to go to be counted. There was a lot of people to count. The Bible tells us what happened long ago. All the stories in the Bible really happened. Today's Bible story is about Jesus being born and it is found in three different books of the Bible, Matthew, Luke, and John. The title of the lesson is, Jesus was born from the books of Matthew, Luke, and John. Each of these chapters tells the same story, just a little bit different. Let's watch. Hi everyone, it's me, Megan. And my name is Jesse. <laughs> Jesse, why are you pretending to be a goat? I'm pretending to be a sheep, not a goat, Megan. Bah! Okay. Ah, gotcha. A sheep. My mistake. So, Jesse, why are you pretending to be a sheep? 
I was given the role of sheep number three in our play at church. So I gotta practice. Okay, well, Jesse, this is so exciting. Let me guess, is this play about baby Jesus being born? It is! Wow, Megan, how did you know that? Because the Bible says that an angel came to some shepherds while they were taking care of their sheep. The angel told them the good news that Jesus was born. Yeah, and then the shepherds hurried to go find baby Jesus. That's right, Jesse. The shepherds hurried to see Jesus because they knew he was not like other babies. Jesus is God's son. Let's watch together to learn more about what happened when Jesus was born. Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph. One day, an angel told Mary she was going to have a very special baby. The angel explained, this baby will be God's son. Then an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. The angel said, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Her baby was put there by the Holy Spirit. Name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. During the time Mary was pregnant with baby Jesus, a ruler named Caesar Augustus wanted a list of all the people who were living in the land. He sent out an order, everyone must return to his hometown to be counted. Since Joseph was part of King David's family, he and Mary traveled to Bethlehem, the city of David. While they were there, Mary was ready to have her baby. Mary and Joseph looked for a safe place to stay, but every place was full. So Mary and Joseph found a place where animals were kept, and that is where Mary had her baby. Joseph named the baby Jesus and Mary wrapped him in cloth and laid him in a manger. That night, some shepherds were watching their sheep out in the fields. All of a sudden, an angel stood before them. A bright light shone around the shepherds and they were scared. But the angel said, do not be afraid. I have good news for you. Today, a savior who is the Messiah and the Lord was born for you in the city of David. Then the angel said, go find the baby. He will be wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, many angels appeared. They praised God and said, glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to people he favors. When the angels left, the shepherds hurried to Bethlehem to find baby Jesus. They found him and then they told others about him. Everyone who heard about Jesus was surprised and amazed. Jesus' mother Mary thought about everything that had happened and tried to understand it. The shepherds went back to their fields. They praised God because everything had happened just like the angel had said. Jesus was born. This was very good news. Jesus was not like other babies. Jesus is God's son. God sent Jesus to earth from heaven. And Jesus came into the world to rescue people from their sins. Our Christ Connection tells us that Jesus was born. This was very good news. Jesus was like no other baby. Jesus is God's son. God sent Jesus to earth from heaven. Jesus came into the world to rescue the people from sin. Let's review. It's important to celebrate birthdays, but the birth of Jesus is more important than any other birthday because Jesus was born to save us from our sins. The angels said to the shepherds that they had good news. Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus is our savior. That is why the shepherds praised God and told other people the good news. 
Jesus came to rescue people from their sins. Our key passage comes from the book of John. John the Baptist is the one who called Jesus the Lamb of God. It was an important way of telling people that Jesus was the one who would sacrifice his life to rescue people from sin. Now, repeat the key passage after me. John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look! the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John chapter 1 verse 29. Now let's sing the key passage song. Look and then our praise song. Jesus, the only one who could save. 
Keep singing that key passage song this week so you can memorize our new key passage. Our new big picture question asks, what did Jesus do to save us? And the answer says, Jesus died on the cross and rose from the dead. Today's Bible story was about when Jesus was born. Jesus was born to rescue people from their sins and Jesus saved us from our sin by dying on the cross and coming back from the dead. That's the best news ever. Later, when you watch the Missions Moment video, you will see that people can pray for missionaries, give money to help them, or go themselves to serve with the missionaries to support them in the work God has called them to do. Now let's close in prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for sending your son Jesus into the world to rescue us from our sins. Help us to tell others the good news about Jesus. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray.